Percy and the Funfair. It was a beautiful morning on the island of Sodor. All the engines were very excited. It was the day of the Fat Controller's Funfair. Children would be coming from far and wide. There was to be a special visit from the Chinese dragon. Percy was delighted. He thought the Chinese dragon was the most exciting thing of all. The Fat Controller arrived at Tidmouth. He had come to give the engines their jobs. Edward was to pull the merry-go-round, Henry the roller coaster, Gordon the fairground folk, Toby the bumper cars. James and Emily were to pull the Ferris wheel, and Chomish, boom the fat controller, you are to collect the fireworks and the Chinese dragon. What's my job, sir? asked Percy, hopefully. You are to collect coal from the coaling plant. You must fill all the hoppers at the stations, ordered the fat controller. A railway can't run without coal, he added. This is a very important job. The fat controller left and all the engines were excited. All except Percy. Coal, he sighed. And as he watched his friends leave for their exciting jobs, Percy felt very left out. Percy chuffed sadly over to the coal plant. This didn't feel like an important job at all. When Percy arrived, he could see a long line of trucks. I wish I was pulling something exciting grumbled Percy. Not bought an old coal trucks. Percy buffered up and pulled out of the depot. Percy stopped at a signal by a school. Toby puffed past pulling flatbeds full of bumper cars. The children in the playground clapped and cheered. Then Edward chuffed by with the merry-go-round. The children cheered even louder. Percy thought that Toby and Edward were having a wonderful time. Then an idea flew into his funnel. Maybe Toby and Edward need some help. Helping friends is much more important than delivering coal, he wished. So Percy didn't deliver the coal. He left his trucks, and he steamed after his friends as quickly as he could. Toby and Edward stopped at a red signal. Percy puffed up alongside. Do you need any help? He tooted, hopefully. No, thank you, Percy, said Toby. We can do it, chuffed Edward. Percy was disappointed. Further up the line, Percy saw Emily and James. They were taking the Ferris wheel. That looks like fun, tooted Percy. I'm sure they'll need some help. Percy caught up with James and Emily. This is going to be the biggest wheel ever, chirruped Emily. Emily and James were having a splendid time. But James and Emily didn't need help either. Percy was upset. Then Percy saw Gordon waiting at a junction. Gordon was pulling the fairground folk. But he didn't need any help either. Percy saw Henry crossing the bridge. Henry was happily pulling the roller coaster. Finally, Percy saw Thomas waiting at a signal. He was carrying the fireworks and the Chinese dragon. That looks like the most fun of all, gasped Percy. But even Thomas didn't need any help. Percy was more disappointed than ever. Then there was trouble. 
Percy had spent so much time trying to help that he hadn't delivered any coal. Percy saw James. He looked very sad. There's no coal at the stations, he wished. We've all run out of coal. Bust my boiler, cried Percy. If the engines don't get some coal, the funfair won't open. All the children will be sad, and it's all my fault. Percy knew what he had to do. He had to pick up his trucks and deliver the coal as quickly as he could. Percy reached all over the island, delivering coal to his friends. Soon, everyone's boiler was bubbling and their pistons were pounding. The engines were back on track. The fun fur was ready just in time. Percy finished his last delivery of coal and arrived at the funfair as the fireworks began. The rocket soared. The band played. And the Chinese dragon danced. All the children were delighted. The fat controller was right, tooted Percy. Delivering the coal is a very important job. <laughs> <laughs>